Hello, my fellow Capricorns. I'm here, Rena Wells, and I am going to be doing your love reading for Divine Counterparts, Twin Flames, High Evolved Soulmates from March 1st to the 15th, including our new moon in Pisces that's coming up tomorrow. Um... Okay, guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button because I know you've been drawn here for a reason. Take a look around. Make yourself comfortable. And if you are returning, welcome. You know, I always hold a special place in my heart for my subscribers. All right, guys. Sorry that I'm late getting these out, guys. Got super busy. I've been really, really busy. And then I had a sick child over the weekend. So um, my plans got kiboshed to put that out this weekend. So I am a little bit late. But here are the remainders. Capricorn, my fellow Cappy, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Whoa, what fell? We've had some crystals fall. Okay. <laughs> um, sun, Moon, and Rising. And Venus for Capricorn. This is for March 1st to the 15th. Guys. Let's see what's going on for my fellow Cappies. All right, we are going to be doing a traditional tarot um, Celtic Cross spread today. Okay, we're going to keep it simple. And remember, guys, this is a general love reading. So if take it, it can go back and forth and take it as it resonates. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, then it's just not for you. All right. Let's see, you guys. One more. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Let's see what's going on. We're going to take a look at the energy subconsciously. Usually tells a story underneath. So Capricorn, we've got a passionate new beginning that is coming forward. Amazing. Oops, I don't want my candle to fall over. All right. Um, new spiritual path also is opening up with this new beginning, okay? There's going to be an offer. Stable. Oh, my God, Capricorn. What's going on? And a stable. It's going to be stable, passionate, new spiritual, uh, destined healing journey that's coming forward, okay? I feel those are the only ones that need to come out. All right, so really great energy here. What is Empress energy? Capricorn, you're coming into a place of birthing some really new energy into your love life. What is crowning you, what is signifying you is commitment, higher self, connecting spiritually to who you are meant to be connecting with. This is amazing, Caps. This is also about committing to the path, okay, committing to this journey, What's crossing you is moving forward. So this commitment, I feel this uh, commitment is coming coming forward very quickly. I also feel that it is um, definitely moving, moving places, moving into different places. There is going to be a small offer that's coming forward. Again, they're going to be step-by-step -step increments. So a small offer, or this situation has to do with children. If you are dealing with someone that has children, it has something to do with children, or it's a very small offer that's coming about to come down. Okay. And it could be with a fire sign, but this is somebody who is passionate and has fire in their chart that is being coming down into the physical manifestation this offer hasn't quite come through yet but it's about to okay in the recent past you've been waiting for this caps okay you've been waiting and you've been investing soon you're going to get your ten of cups oh amazing amazing ten of cups is coming down for you guys okay there is going to be an apology that's going to be rendered to you all right there is going to be in your environment a stable family foundation and abundance okay Psychologically, this is about removing yourself from entrapments of the physical mind, okay, so that you can come into balance, okay, because the outcome here is that it was unbalanced before, but there's something about balance that's coming forward. So a lot of really amazing things coming forward, Capricorn. Um, I mean, this is a really positive reading so far. I mean, that's what I'm seeing is there's a stable, passionate beginning, a spiritual beginning that's destined, okay, and that's he that's meant to be. And there's also, you know, an offer that's coming forward from a fire a fire sign um, about also commitment that is rebirthing into this new world. Um, could be also a cancer water sign um, that's crowning that's crossing you. But however, I, you know me calling out signs. I don't usually call it the signs, but um, there's going to be an apology. Or you've been doing a lot of self love and you've been working really hard at your abundance here. Mentally, it feels like. Um, there were some mental entrapments here. So we're going to clarify some of this and see what's going on. This is really great energy that, that's coming into the new moon. Caps. What was that? I saw something that was flipped. 
Sorry, guys, I thought there was another card that was lost in here. There is. Look at that. Walking away. <laughs> Conflict. Okay. I knew I saw that. I knew I saw that. All right. Let's take a look here. So we've got the Empress energy and a commitment. Spirit, can you clarify that? So there is a King of Swords energy here that's making a logical decision in regards to the Empress energy and making a commitment. So that could be an air sign. If you're dealing with air, not necessarily an air sign, but could be an air sign. Clarify the Hierophant, please. I feel this is a very spiritual connection, okay? We've got the Wheel of Fortune that is coming in. So the cycle is turning here, okay? And things are starting to move forward for you, Capricorn. What is going on here with the chariot, please. Yeah, moving forward towards a union. Oh my God, Capricorn! So yeah, moving towards a union here, all right? And I'm just going to validate this, guys. I am a Capricorn, and um, I'm not pulling energy for me, but I'm going to tell you that it is a collective that's happening right now. So whenever I do readings, it is a collective. And I'm going to tell you that um, as a Cap, I'm at the top of the collective, me and my twin, um, we have a huge soul family, tribe family. We've already, we're both in recognition of this and we both know how powerful we both are. So this is actually not surprising to me, but for other caps that are in the collective, this is happening too, um, for sun, moon and rising. So I just want you to be aware of that, that this is exactly what, what's coming down the pipeline. Um, this isn't what's happening for me right now. This has already happened for me. So I'm at the leading edge. I'm telling you guys this, um, Everything that I see with other signs, too, I've noticed that as well. I can I can read what's happening with the collective based on who's leading that and, and who's moving through it and who's coming up. Like, we all act as umbrellas. And then so when you come into union with your twin, you then ignite your soul tribe family and souls that you birthed as well, okay? This is highly evolved stuff. So um, anyways, yeah, this is coming into union, you guys, okay? Because the decision is going to be made here. All right, so moving forward, Capricorn, we've got an offer here that's coming in from the, uh, yeah, right from, from Spirit. Coming down, it's still in the ethers. It hasn't quite manifested yet, but there is an offer. There's something to do with children as well. Clarify this page of pentacles. So yeah, feeling a little defeated, feeling a bit of victim role. Okay, maybe some inner child work that needs to be done right now. So there is some healing that's still going on. Clarify this Leo here, or this fire sign, I should say. Um, I always say fire is always Leo, and I don't know why I say that, because there's also Aries and Sag. Um, but I know a lot of Leos, so that's probably why. So we've got here, um, a really passionate, they're bringing in the passion in the beginning and they want victory and success here. So this is going to be manifested. You've been investing Capricorn quite a bit. You've been doing the work. You've been waiting. You've been recognizing that this is the work that needs to be happening right now. So you have been waiting. Let's clarify. It's clarified by waiting. <laughs> so you've been waiting and, and pulled back and resting in this, but you are getting your 10 of cups. In the near future, really good. Uh, Ten of Cups, let's take a look here. Ten of Cups, what's going on with the Ten of Cups? What is going on with the Ten of Cups, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Whoop. Really sticky, guys. I don't know what is going on with these cards today. I've cleared them and uh, I've smudged them. I've done everything and... I don't know what is up. It's the energy. There we go. It's better. Okay. So hanging on to this, okay? L knowing what you need to hang on, Capricorn, and what you need to let go of as well, okay? For this Nine of Cups to come in. So you're walking a fine line of discernment right now. What to let go of, what to hang on to, what to, you know, you're really watching your energy for this Ten of Cups to come in. And you've had to be able to go in and do this work in order to have this type of balance of what's going in. So you're contemplating, you know, up and down. What do I let go? What do I hang on to? Um, and being very understanding about that. Now, there is going to be an apology that's coming in. Okay, this is also the self-love. You just continuously give yourself self-love. Now, there could have been a third-party situation, but there's going to be some fast action, in and out action. That's probably why you've had some in and out action. So there may be an apology about this situation that's coming forward. Okay, someone recognizes that they put you in a position that there may have been a third-party situation. But this could also be if there's not a third party, there's been in and out energy. And there's going to be an apology for the in and out energy because they want union. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. 
Ten of Pentacles, moving, look at this, the Divine Masculine is moving towards a new cycle and working hard at working as a team and wanting this new beginning of truth, okay? So this Divine Masculine is definitely coming forward to offer the Ten of Pentacles. That's in your immediate environment, Capricorn. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. What is this entrapment talking about? Okay, some apathy and some conflict. So it feels like you've almost psychologically feel like you're trapped by this situation. Like you can't necessarily move forward. You're attached. You know, you feel like you're bounded to this person and you can't really move forward. So you're a little conflicted about that and you're a little apathetic about it. But spirit wants you to look at, you know, the opportunities that are being offered with this situation and to let go of, of the mind constraints. Okay. They want you to keep letting go of what the mind is telling you and keep going by how this is feeling. Okay. Because look at this. There's going to be fast communication for a 10 of cups that's coming soon. So untrap yourselves, Capricorn, from any mind stuff. If you feel this hasn't been happening, it's going to happen very soon. Okay, you are going to get some fast communication about this. You are going to, you know, have some 10 of cups here. Um, emotional abundance, that's come up twice now. You've got to learn here this hanging on and letting go. You've got to clear up that energy a little bit more because there's still certain mind patterns that are still keeping you stuck. So meditate, do your inner work, whatever you've been doing, it's been working. And you've been balancing here. Look, oh my God, Ten of Pentacles everywhere, you guys. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. And Aces, Ace of Pentacles. We've got Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, um, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, I, I the Ace of Wands down here. Um yeah, amazing, amazing reading here. We've got balance that's coming in with a stable new beginning and a commitment that's happening. We also had that crowning you, Capricorn, a commitment. Remember, commitment, because you've come into a divine empress stance, okay? You're coming into your own now. You're coming into manifesting this stuff, and you're getting a commitment, okay? Something about commitment and a home life and planning for moving forward, okay? Um, this person could be dealing with a marriage and a commitment as well. If so, they are looking at balancing that in order to come forward to plan for a future with you and offer a stable beginning. I feel it's more because it's crowning you um, here that a decision has been made in regards to wanting a union. That's why they're moving forward because there could have been that you were dealing with somebody who's in a marriage. Well, that decision is, is being made in regards to the union that's moving forward. Okay. So if someone is in a marriage, third party situation, that's one scenario. They are about to make a decision to leave that person. If not, they are looking at committing and they finally made a decision to be in union with you and to move forward with that. So that's really, that's really amazing using their logical mind. Okay. Um, recognizing that we've got good luck that's coming in here. Okay. Woo. Amazing. Let's pull some angel cards. Capricorn looking really nice. Looking really nice for March. Come in March 1st to the 15th spirit. Can you please bring in angel answers for our wonderful copies, please? Sun and rising and Venus for Capricorn. Thank you. Please bring down the container. Any angel love messages? That was a crappy shuffle, Rena. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's take a look. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. What love angels want to come out and play? What messages from the love angels? That one wants to come out. All right. Make the effort and express your love. So if you are, I feel you guys are in communication with this individual. Okay. Um, and maybe not constant communication, but I feel that I don't feel that these are people that are left out in the cold. I feel there is some communication that's happening. I think there's a recognition that's starting to happen with you guys. You're starting to notice the movement. Okay. So make the effort and express your love. You don't have to be afraid of this anymore. I know in the past, sometimes you haven't been able to communicate with this individual, but now just do it. Express how you feel. Be open. And, and not in an attaching way, in a very, you know, loving yourself way. Anything else for cats? No, I think that's it. All right, Capricorn, let me know how that was. That's amazing. Um, I know this is coming forward for you. I already know this. I already know that only because like this, these aren't my cards. Like I said, it's at the top of the umbrella. I'm pulling in my soul tribe family. And I know this is happening for a lot of, it's happening, I'll tell you where it's happening for. It's happening a lot for Leos, Cancers, Capricorns is what I've been getting, Scorpios. Um, a lot of unions happening in these signs. So, um, yeah. The, the, I mean, it doesn't mean that their sign isn't that I haven't listed is not happening, but those are, those are the patterns that I've been seeing. Okay. Anyways, much love guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know how that was and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.